So today I'm going to be showing you our apartment here in South Korea. I'm really excited to show you this because I have decorated the crap out of this house and nobody really gets to see it. Before I get into the actual tour type deal, I do want to give you a little bit of a background about our apartment complex and I'll show you that one day because there's just so much around here that it needs to be shown. So our apartment complex is called EG The One and it's about to 10 to 15 minutes away from Camp Humphreys depending on how you drive and how much traffic there is and I love it and I can't imagine living anywhere else. So I'm a part of this group chat with my grandma, my mom, my sister, and my little brother and one day I was sending pictures of the outside of our apartment complex and my grandma asked what EG The One stood for and I said I have no idea it's just the name of the apartment complex and so then she asked so is there an EG The Two and I literally crack up every time I think about it love you grandma we are on the 20th floor and there's amazing lighting and I love the view that we have and it's really nice we have a three bedroom two bath and it has a separate laundry room and a walk-in closet in the master and yeah let's get started so we are standing right outside of the apartment and this is where you come in from the elevator and then the stairs are right there there's our one neighbor and then here's our door i made the macrame this is the doorbell so when you press the tiny silver button that's when you actually ring the doorbell and then the bigger part is a camera we can actually see who's ringing the doorbell which is kind of cool this is like your keypad type deal so you can either scan a card or type in your passcode and then we're gonna go into the foyer so this is where we put all of our shoes coats and all of that kind of stuff this is where we dry off the dogs when they are wet from the rain and it's nice there is a nice door that not a lot of people have and I really like this because the dogs like to just dart into the house and I just like this so that I can dry them off before we actually go in there for the day and then we have a nice mirror oh hey hello and then here's our door and this says do you have your phone do you have your wallet do you have your keys and then have a nice day this was put in by the owner so yeah and then this is all storage so we have a his and hers shoe closet and then this one is for the doggos and our shopping bags and yeah so I really like that we have a foyer because I don't want to bring in nasty stuff and then this is the actual apartment itself and it's nice and bright and that's what I love about this place here is the guest bathroom just a regular bathroom nothing fancy just clean crisp nothing wild here is the guest room that has only been used a handful of times and I just wanted something kind of funky here's some paintings here's some family photos I really like this built-in wardrobe because it's a closet and it has all those shelves and some drawers has a mirror and you have an area to hang up clothes there's my monstera that I got that was in really bad shape and then it's been flourishing ever since it's been with me and then we back we are back in the actual house and here is the first area that is the plant Garrett got me and then there's my peace Lily she also wasn't doing the best when I first got her and ever since she's been with me she's been flourishing we just repotted this elephant ear and the leaves are ginormous Garrett got me this when I first moved here and I'm in love with this plant I, I mean just look at that leaf it's just beautiful and then this is the snake that I actually propagated and then I planted it and it's just literally getting a new baby I am literally so proud of myself just look at that and then we got all my little knickknacks my little peacock chair my Alexa the picture all the essential oils you know you got to stay stress-free here's my basket wall that Garrett redid for me like five different times until I liked it and I still want to add more so I think I'm on my own for redoing it the next time and then this is the panel where you can control like the whole house pretty much so you can see who's outside of the elevator area in front of the door and that's where the camera is what it's looking at and then you can call the elevator 
and it'll show you where it's coming from so you can kind of figure out how much time you have left and you can pretty much control the whole house from there. This is the house fan so you have circulating air. This is for the water heater and the heated floors and this is the light panel to control all the lights in the living room area. And then here we are back in the dining and living area. That's the master bedroom right there. And there's the couch and we literally spend most of our time here in this area so I wanted it to be nice and fresh and inviting. And this is the couch that we got like my first weekend here in Korea and we went to the Ikea and I'm just in love with this house and there's Chloe's little spot. Uh, she'll just wait until somebody comes and she'll just be looking right outside that door just so that she can bark. And then there's Carter underneath the coffee table. He loves that spot and he's always chilling there. And the coffee table actually came with the house and it's pretty nice. The TV credenza also came with the apartment and I'm trying to buy that off of our landlord before we leave. And I got the snake plant. This is actually the plant I propagated the smaller snake from. And the big white thing is our AC unit. We don't have central heating and air. So, and there is my prized possession chair that my sister got me. Shout out to Alyssa. She knows me so well. And that is our dehumidifier because it gets crazy humid up in here. And then this is the view from the living room to the kitchen, dining, and Garrett's office. This is the Monstera that I got like right before right when I got here and I bought it off of someone who was PCSing and it was a lot smaller. We repotted it and now it's just getting crazy big and I'm really proud of myself with that one too. So then we go into my favorite area of the kitchen, our fridge, because of all the cute little photos I have of our adventures and the dogs and my family and of course we have to have the let that shit go poster. And this is my favorite wine, so if you ever have the chance to try any freak show, please do yourself a favor and do it. It's the best wine ever. And there's my note from my little Korean grandma. I love her. And then the, the fridge is really cool because you have a little mini fridge, so you can actually get, if you have something in there really quick, or you can just open the fridge and go to the actual bigger part of the fridge. And then there is the Korean oven, the infamous Korean oven. It is more of like a microwave. It is so small. You can't even do anything with it. I've cooked a few things in it, and it just doesn't do the job the right way. But they labeled everything for us, so I thought that was really sweet. We also have like a tabletop or countertop oven, which does the job. That is our laundry slash trash room, so I'm not going to even bore you with that, but it's a pretty good size. This is our water filter and it comes with hot water and cold water. I want to take this home to the States. I love it so much. We do not have a dishwasher, so me and Garrett are the dishwashers in this household. And there's my wine bottle collection. And there is the kitchen, pretty decent size for two people. Nothing crazy. This is really cool. You actually have to turn on the gas in order to use the oven or sorry the stove top so you just press that button maybe okay third time's a charm so then it'll just move on over and then you just press the same button to turn it off and it'll just turn off so there's the kitchen there's the view from the kitchen there's our dining room with Garrett and I eat our meals there is our lovely camping chair as a second chair and this is our little wine bar area. This is my pothos that I got for 10,000 won, which is so cheap. And there's a wedding picture, our cake toppers. This is the gift Garrett got me for our first anniversary since the first anniversary is paper of my little wine area. And then there is the wedding present that my mom got us. I love this and this was the perfect place for it. And then we go into Garrett's office. It's pretty much just his storage room for his army gear and some of my work stuff, the dog's crates, and stuff I'm getting rid of slash more work stuff that I have to go through. And then this little area is actually a really nice sized cupboard and this holds the majority of my work stuff um, when I'm not working. So it has my lash bed, my lash table, 
all of the bells and whistles, my lash products, my waxing supplies, my microblading supplies, our board games, and my Neo packet just in case if I have to get evacuated, and just some home decor things. Definitely need to go through it and clean it out a bit, but you know. And this is actually some inspirational quote, but I have really no idea what it says, and it's whatever. And then there's my little parlor palm. Love him. Such a good, nice plant. I just love the color of it. The green is just so bright and vibrant. And there's the doggos. Now we're going to go into the master bedroom. This is where we sleep. And the bed is just so comfortable. And I made the macrame that's hanging up. Did a really good job on that. I'm pretty proud of myself. There is the balcony. And there is my Ikea dresser that I want to replace the knobs with at some point. And this is considered like a drying room, so a lot of people here, they don't really dry their clothes fully. So then they'll put their clothes in the dryer and then hang dry them the rest of the way to dry dry. And this is really cool because it comes with a remote, so you can just press a button and it'll come down or go back up. And then you can turn on a fan for your clothes to dry more. And yeah, so it's pretty nice. I didn't think I would use it as much as I do, but it's, it's a nice amenity to have. And then this is just a storage area. It holds our Christmas tree, a mirror, all my home decor stuff, some potting soil. And then we're going to go back into the bedroom. I just wanted something nice and inviting and nothing too wild. Just kind of nice and crisp and clean. And there's my pictures some plants. This is the mirror my mom gave me. It's from the 70s and I think she thought she was going to get it back but she definitely messed up on that because she's not getting it back anytime soon. There's my pumpus grass that I uh, cut off when I was on a walk. People thought I was crazy. There's my lovely painting. This chair is very special to me because I wanted it and it was on the street, so Garrett's friend picked it up for me and it's just a nice chair. I felt like I needed it. This is our master bath. It's pretty simple, nothing special. And we do have a bidet and our toilet seat is heated, so it's really nice and it's warm when you sit down. And then this is my vanity. Garrett actually did the backlighting for me and I think he did such a good job. I'm really proud of that. And then this is all my products and jewelry and other stuff. Some jewelry, pictures, more jewelry. There's our converter, so if I ever want to curl my hair, I have to plug the curler into that and then turn that on because of the different voltage. And then this is our closet and I was really happy to know that we were going to have a closet because I didn't, I've never had a walk-in closet like this and so I'm really happy with it. And so yeah, that is the bedroom, the living room, everything and I'm just so happy that I live here and that I've made this place into a home that's really nice and inviting so thanks for letting me share that with you guys. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Also, please be sure to subscribe and also follow me on Instagram. I had a great time making this video and there's a ton more coming your way. So stay tuned. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.